Hello guys and welcome again on this new tutorial The last time we talked about Hawaken and uh, how to play the map And today I'm gonna try to explain to you how to play on Lord Covenant Which is uh, campground or DM6, however you wanna call it Alright, so we're gonna start from the map itself so the map is a bit, pretty big one, I would say. It's one of the biggest maps in the champion, in the map pool for duel. And we have three different floors. This is the highest one. Goes all the way there and there. And also to rail. So this is the highest, highest floor. Then we have the second floor. Okay. This. Sorry. This. Okay. And then we go all the way down to the first floor. Which goes all the way from there, there. There. Okay. Alright. So. Let's start from the weapons. We have every single weapon. As you can see from the right panel. Uh, we have machine gun, shotgun, na nail gun, tribal's rocket LG, and rail gun. Okay. And talking about position of the weapons. All right. So this is the famous bridge. We have the rocket on this side, the rail there, and the nail gun right there. All right. So these are the three main weapons of this side. If we go on the first floor, right there, we have the shotgun. If we keep going, we have the LG And then we have Tribalt and Heavy Marching on. Okay, so that's Quad damage. That's basically it for the weapons, okay? So now let's say About items, um, we have the Heavy on the bridge Very close to the bridge And then all the way we have the Mega, so Compared to a Woken, we can already tell that um, the map is much bigger, it's much open, there are there is so much open space, there are so many ways to, to, to hide and so on, and the items are freely not close between each other, it's like, I am with Nyx, so it's a, it's a good champion for movement, but for example it's I'm gonna take a mega at uh, zero and you're gonna see how much time do I need to spend to get over to heavy. So it's around seven seconds or eight. While uh, heavy and uh, mega and awoken were about two, two to three seconds were really easy to reach, okay? We have three green armors. This one up there, I'm gonna show you. Then we have one there. And then one there. Right? And then we have time shards, which I, for I think I forgot to explain on the other tutorial. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. We have time glass here. This one, two, three, and time glass here. One, two, three, okay? So for people who don't play Quake Champions If you're like coming for, for this tutorial from I don't know Quake Live or some other Quake franchise game In Champions we have abilities, so let's say with Nyx I'm going in this right now I have 45 seconds, okay? Before the ability comes out again, but if I take one I get 10% 10% 10% All right, so now I am at uh, 15, okay? And if they take all them together, it's gonna be 10, 10, 10 and 30% uh, So I already got my ability back just by cycling up the, the time shards Okay, all right Now that we talked about um, the map itself 
I'm gonna talk about like the first video of starting spawn so on this map we have I think it's three to four different spawns I'm gonna show you a few basics one and uh, where to go and what to do after the spawn okay but I'm gonna switch to ranger cause maybe people that are watching me don't have the champions I have so since ranger is the free to play one I'm gonna go with ranger okay all right so here we are first spawn this one okay this is the first spawn we're gonna talk about and is a spawn that is connected of course to the mega alt right let's not forget about the map so you will say okay nice we got the mega alt okay yes you got the mega alt but one thing to know about this spawn is the fact that the opponent is always gonna be spawning there 100 percent every time you get the spawn and same if you spawn this way the opponent is gonna spawn there all right there is nothing that will change if you spawn there it can't spawn anywhere else okay so for you to know that's how it works on this spawn of course i'm talking about so now you're saying so what do i do if i'm gonna spawn there is he's there it's gonna i don't know it's gonna rush what he's gonna do all right easy the thing that most players do when they are going over to they are spawning there if i don't know if everyone knows when you're playing in the ranked but first thing is they taking the rocket the right so what i usually do is just take this jump and you will see after you jump enemy running by and i usually just hit a little bit of mashing up just to get some damage and most of the players i mean depends on the champion they usually like go all the way there maybe do a rocket jump for rail or already drop for heavy okay and of course And of course you can do this and another thing um another thing you can do but i won't suggest doing it's going to rail instead and waiting there but that can be risky if you miss the shot or it can be just he's gonna instead go back and take the mega and you're gonna take the rail but if you want to play a standard uh, and you want to do a standard procedure i think the best thing to do is this boom, boom you spawn ding, da, 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 you take this and you drop for lg okay so that's the basic thing let's say it from the other side though which can happen if you spawn there i already show you what you're gonna do if you spawn there but if you spawn there that's the way to do you can take this then maybe you rocket jump for rail and then go for heavy okay or of course if you try to go for mega it's gonna be faster than you so i won't suggest doing that or if you want to do something you can do like this drop for uh, heavy machine gun and start spamming him and then go for heavy you can also do that if you want to but i think the only way to to deal with this spawn is j just by going to uh, rocket and uh, heavy, alright? That's the first spawn. Let's talk about the second spawn, which is gonna be this one. This is a trick one, okay? So, I'm gonna ask you, okay, of course. What would you do or what you are doing when you're playing your games on this map when your starting spawn is this one? You drop for LG, okay? Of course, it's the easiest way to do it. But what I suggest you to do, since the opponent is gonna spawn always, nail gun, 100%, okay, right, guys? So, there is a tricky, tricky situation that can come up. If you drop for LG, you can do this movement, alright? You can literally just do this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
And at this stage of the game, with you only having starting machine gun and only under 25-50, the nail gun can be really, really dangerous. So what I suggest you to do, it's so easy. Just you stand at you spawn, okay? Relax, take a deep breath, and uh, wait one, two seconds. If you don't see anyone, easy. You go there and take the the mega. All right. This is the way to do with this spawn. And I'm gonna show you from the other side too. If you spawn on Nagan, that's up to you, to be honest. Depends on what champion you are playing and what champion the opponent is playing also. Because for example, if, you, if you're playing against a clutch, for example, and you want to do the rush down, you can use the shield Quad spawn. and then what you're gonna do? Like, you, you're gonna use the shield, take the LG and you're dead. Right, so I won't suggest you doing that. But if maybe if you are playing against other champions that are weaker, like Slash, for example, you can also do that. If you feel you can, yeah, try to drop down. If you have Orb with Ranger, it can be uh, like a devastating combo. Or if you want to play it the easy way, you can just, uh, yeah, spawn there, take the thing over there. If you have Orb, you could Orb up to Rocket. If you are playing Ranger, so you could take Rocket and then go for Rail, okay? That's the second spawn. Okay, so now let's talk about... Uh, let's talk about some tricks, some, some Rocket jumps, some things that can be useful in your gameplay, as the last time in Awoken uh, I'll show you. Alright, so... Some tricks... Um, let's talk about Rocket jumps like this already, it can be a good one. So, thing to learn for sure is, uh, I mean, I, I will say it's bridge to rail, but since there are so many good champions with uh, high mobility, the, the bridge can be risky to do, so it's not, I actually fail it sometimes too, because it's not like quick life. So, what I suggest you to do is... Yeah, learn the bridge to rail, but it's not as useful as it was on Quake Live, because, like, literally, if you're playing Ranger, Nyx, or Doom, or Clutch, or Slash, or Anarchy, like, you can just get over there with a uh, movement. Um, so, things to learn, alright. Rocket jumps like that have to be useful. There are also... Rocket jump you can do from this floor, for example, but are really hard to do. Which I don't suggest you to learn, because they are not as useful as others one. Things like that, where you don't take that much damage. When you try to do a rocket jump, try to aim... Like, you are you don't need to aim like that, okay? Like this, alright? You can aim like this. Slightly to, slide to the right of your... Uh, camera. Then you jump, and, and you do less damage, because you are not shooting yourself in... In a direct way, you are most using the splash damage of the rocket, right? Um, so yeah, that's one. So, things to know about this map. You can go up there. Can be a cool uh, spot to hide, to be honest. It's not something that people check really often. Um, you can walk on this and this you can also walk up on this i'm gonna show you yes maybe not like that and you um, you can walk over this if you want to be a ninja it's not something really useful um then this one maybe remember always about the Crouch ledge, uh, ledge, holding, so you don't get like that on a jump head. Oh, shaft me, please. Remember always to crouch. All right. Um, and then one cool thing uh, that I always do, if you watch my matches, if I'm playing expe especially ranger, is this one. Is this one is so good. So, you come on the stairs, right? These stairs on marching in. You face this wall, you use rocket, and you do like this. Quad damage. All right. What is this gonna do? Is gonna is gonna boost your uh, speed so much 
And in some occasion you can... Uh, hold on, I'm gonna kill myself because I have quad. In some occasion you can uh, really, really use it as in your favor. It can be really, really... Like, you know your me your enemy took mecha is going for the heavy and you do like this. Look at the speed you're gaining and then you drop, for example. You can do with every other champion. Of course with the uh, ranger is less damage you are taking because he has the the rocket jump uh, passive, but it's really really cool. If you want to get in a more advanced uh, scenario, you have to learn things like Nyx jumps with the nail gun, for example. So, what does it do? If you use the nail gun and double jump, look always at my HP. For example, you spawn there, right? You are not ranger, you are Nyx. You spawn there, you take the heavy, all right, you go over there. Okay, what you gonna do now? How can you go up? So, you, you have the nail gun, right? Double jump, rail, rocket. Otherwise, if you wouldn't learn things like that, the only thing you, you have to do is this, which is gonna lose you a lot of time. You go all the way there, then shotgun, then if LG is safe, you go for LG, and then rocket, that can be already a dangerous place to be. And you only have nail and uh, and this one. Instead, like this, you can also do like this, you spawn, you get heavy, all right, you go up there. One, two, three, easy, so. Right, you do one, and then again, double. Jump, jump, and nail gun. Jump, jump, nail gun, right? Jump, jump, nail gun. Jump, jump, nail gun. I'm trying to slow it down to let you see that I'm failing, lol. Uh, jump, jump, nail gun, all right. You can shoot, I think, two, it's already okay, but if you want to be safe, you can do three. And you can do the same there and there. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, but if you want to, you can also do it there. Alright. And, yeah, you can also do it there, actually, but it's not something I'm really capable of doing that quickly, okay? And, yeah, it's, it's like 10% of uh, success there. Um, so, yeah, of course you can go also there if you want to, but, like... On every like pillar you can do it. Then for Nyx. This one. Oh jump. You just touch the wall and jump again. Alright. I'm failing a lot. Seems like it's not my day today, but Yep, like that. Yep. Like that. Not why am I not doing it? Oh yeah, I'm dumb. It's cause you need to take the pillar there. You can do this. And then this. I'm sorry. So, there and there and there and there. Okay. Yep. And you can do the same there. Alright. And one and two. Really cool. It is cool. Then. I don't think you can do that. You cannot. Okay. Uh, Mmm, you can also, if I'm not wrong. Where is it? Hold on. Well, of course, you can do things like that with things. Pretty easy to do. And yes, I think with Nyx we are done. Uh, let's maybe use a bit of Slash just to show you a few things. So, I think that if you're playing Slash, you already know what you are doing. Like, it's already a champion that is not easy to to master. But with Nyx, uh, if you're if you're start starting to use Nyx, remember that the I guess is the point you have, you're jumping for the sliding. The, uh, the more slide time you will have. What do I mean? Is this, like... For example, I'm doing a normal jump, like one, two, three, jump. This is the maximum I can slide. So look, it's like one second. It's like one second and a half. 
while if I jump from there I jump and uh, I didn't I didn't even do it uh, good because my slash is not that good but oh, I'm gonna shoot it again again I'm still sliding, it's like 7 seconds, it's crazy, right? Let's do it again. Yeah. Why, if I do it like this, it's already done. Uh, that's good to know, of course you can do this with Slash. It's probably one of the most OP champions on this map, because of how fast you can, you can get with movement. Like, all the things I was doing, you can do it. Just much quicker. Don't mind my slash though, that it's really really bad. Damage. You you can really do this jump. Alright. Now uh, why do I need to show slash? You can go watch some toxic tutorial. Not me, but uh, just for you guys to know how it is, alright? Really, really fast. Five minutes okay. Long. And also, if you like clutch like me, you can do things with the dash too. Like this. That's so easy to do. You can also do bridge to rail. Easy. You can just go there. I want to go there and you go there. I want to go there and you go there. I want to go there, and you go there. Okay, really easy to do with clutch. All right, now we got it. Okay, so now uh, let's talk again about um, let's talk about angles again. Uh, angles are. Well, talking about angles on this map is crazy because there are so many of them, especially with the railgun. I'm gonna show you. Let's start from this side of the map. Um, you have this, you have this, this. Then on the rail there, below there, on the LG, on the TP. If you know the guy is going over the machine gun, if he aims right there. Because if you go out of the, if you go to the TP, Okay, if you are strafing, it's like the strafe still goes after the jump. Protection Instead, if you on. walk like this, look, you walk. Okay, if you walk, you are going so slow. If you jump, you're still in air. I mean, so you're gonna go out of the TP faster. So it kinda depends. If you see the enemy jumping, you need to aim a little bit more. So, yeah. This is what I see. If I'm just walking, while if I'm, I'm do, doing a jump, that's look already the distance. Okay, so if you're aiming from there, it will look straight jump, it will look like that. And if you, the guy is walking, it will look like that. Okay. So, on the other way, we have this one. We can have this one on the jump it there, and you can have we have an also an angle there, angle there, angle there. Then if you come out of the TP, one of the most used one, this one, like also a man shot, because people always tend to be on that side of the bridge. Then you can aim there, on the mag of course, that's pretty obvious, and that's it for this side of the map. Um, let's go for the... Yeah, there you can also have there. And, boom, you can also have this. Look, if the enemy is sneaking below you. On this side, we have... This one, of course. This one. This one. This one. This one. 
there. This, of course. There, it's not really easy to get. Um, there, 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 and there. And cuckoo! Yes, also there. And on that side of the map, instead, you can have this. There and there and there. So all the angles one, two, three, it's like three different doors. One, two, three, four, and this one on the mega. There, there. People of what usually do is also standing there. So I'll always check this spot. Yeah, that's it. Then you have one of the most we're gonna talk about this later. Boom. On the spawn. We also have this one on the spawn. I'm gonna show you also later more detailed way. Boom, there. And then we have this side, we have this one. There, boom. You can also do this the other way around, there. Then you can aim from there, there. This one on the green armor, and this one too. Okay, so here we are, and uh, now we're gonna talk about um, positioning on uh, Hag and Mega, and how to deal with uh, rotation you have to do when you are taking an item. And since I actually forgot about uh, Awoken, I don't know how did I forget about that, but In I'm also gonna try to explain how to play out of control on this map. All right, so. Let's start from let's start from heavy. Okay, so things to know about heavy. You can get attacked by three different ways. I mean, by three different floors. Sorry. So you can get attacked by there. Like imagine you are on heavy. This guy can come from here. He can come from here. So that's already first floor. First floor, third floor, and he can come from here. All right, so w the moment you are taking heavy, okay, your eyes needs to be everywhere. And I think the most common spots are this one, these two, this on rail, and this above. So let's say you are fighting the guy, okay. He got the mega, he's uh, gonna rush you, you, you rush for the heavy, boom. Already prepared the weapon, don't go on the heavy like with the shotgun or nail gun or whatever. Long distance or LG, aim, aim, alright, that's how you do it. So, so I will say, uh, positioning, it's like same as angles I give you before, this part of the video. If you are waiting for the item as it's spawning in 5 seconds It depends on the sound Rockets there are probably the best thing to do There is... you can spam LG There it becomes tricky Cause it's already not so easy for you to eat So you can go... you can get, try to go for the rail or the... Machine gun. Uh, one thing to note is be careful about your ammo because if you are shooting in a rail fight and you finish the rail and he goes with the heavy machine gun, two, 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 two. remember that the heavy machine gun with the zoom does 15 damage every time the machine gun hits you. Okay, 15 damage. It's crazy amount of damage. 15, 30, 45, 60. Da, 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 da. It's already 150 gone. Bye bye. And or you are dead or you're gonna survive with one HP. So always be careful about your ammo, right? So as I said, there, 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 there. Really rarely from this and this side, and mostly from this side. Okay. So that's. For the mega when you're taking sorry that's for the heavy when you're taking it when you are taking it okay guys listen if you are attacking it all right if you took mega and you want to attack heavy 
This wall, really precious. Come in your help. You can. If even if you, if you did damage and he did damage to you and you are available, you can just hide. Always be careful about the rocket jumps of the enemy, but with LG you have the edge over him. So this one, as I say, you come all the way from rail. You can try instead of going for that one, you can try to variate and go for this. Okay, or you can also try this. So you're not. It's really, really. It's hard for you to hit him, and it's also hard, hard, hard for him to hit you back. Okay. But if you get the hit, then it's so clean, you can go back. That's from this side. This side, it's a little bit tricky, cause rockets are gonna destroy you. So, unless the enemy is like going for the heavy, and you can hear him like, coming this way, and you can try to hold him, I won't suggest you going from this side. And the other one. It's the one that I call the, the heavy machine on a rail only, which is it's this one. Just if it's coming like that. Or just one or two rail maximum. And that's it for the heavy. Nothing really special. Mega, it's uh, kinda similar to be honest. So if you are taking Mega, so let's say you are already there, there are one, two, Three, four, not really, but five, and six. So, he can come from here, he can come from here, and then here. That's there's the DP right there. So boom, or boom, boom again. He can come from the LG, and he can come from here. Alright, so. Usually, um, marching on this distance is good, alright. Mastigan, machine on rail, as I said, and as you could have already noticed on this map are probably the most important weapons. Okay, so there, there, or like that, or like that. Okay, there it's rocket. I was trying to spam maybe there. And there it's also rocket, and if he goes over there, it's, you can use the rail. That's it, really simple. If you're attacking instead, and he's the guy doing that, from this side, it's again the same. You're gonna use machine gun or rail. I will suggest you to just. Actually, I will suggest you to just bait, like do shoulder pick and just like do like this. Then you go silent for a moment and. You calculate around 0.7 seconds. I mean, one second in your head is gonna do the jump over there, and you do like this. Then you go back. Either rail right while it's jumping, all right? If you are going from there, you can try this angle. You're not really easy to spot. If you are from here, also marching, and it's the same thing, but on the other way. If you are coming from LG, that's a really like risky push. Always try to aim for this. Cows, if you're aiming like this, there. Like I'm, I'm already doing it from here. I'm taking damage, right? So this part of the of the jump it, and there, there, does damage to the enemy. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Uh, from here, actually, yes, too. It's uh, really hard. What I usually do is just try to maybe land a quick rail or just spam a rocket, but it's really, really hard to do. Alright. What about out of control gameplay? So, this map is not so hard to be completely honest with you to play out of control. Simple, simply because there are. Three green armors, and because um, there are so many places where you can hide, and there are so many things the opponent needs to do in order to get to the over one side of the map, like it he can't just take everything in one second. So there is space for you to delay items, alright? So probably the best is this place. 
around here, so on the lower floor, the first floor. So you can hear basically everything, and if you get opponent goes for heavy, you run, you take LG and you take this one too. If opponent comes for you, you run, spam a bit, then take again this. And you can, if he's not fighting, you can just like really take it slow and just, yeah, walk, basically. That's it. Or you can go real heavy and you can start just railing and using the wall to cover yourself. Like this. Okay. Same from here. There, there. Okay, just use the walls to cover. And yes. And now you will tell, like, you will ask me, but, like, how can I get an item if I don't do enough damage to him? Like, how can I... How can I get up all contra? I can't do this all the 10 minutes, like, it's not go it's gonna be impossible to hold him up for all that long. And I'm gonna explain you right now. Alright. So, in Quake Champions, it's much easier to do so, because... Uh... Because of the champions and because of the damage the weapon can deal, like you can you can win fights with mashing on or heavy mashing on against LG if you really 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 are eating good enough. So the stack is not as important as, as it was in Quake Live. Uh, that's hundred percent. You can win fights if you have like, orb especially or other abilities with. 100, 100 is already enough to challenge for an item, for example. But if you want to um, get an item back, all right? So first thing to do is understanding the timing and how it works. So when you take an item, it's 30 seconds. So if I take it now, it's gonna be up at one, all right? So it's 30 seconds from now. Um, the important thing to understand is that what you need to do in few words is if you learn in the duel that this is gonna be let's say uh, 25 say uh, 25 okay and this is gonna be at 31 you have a six seconds gap where you can try to hold your enemy and go to the other item. So actually, let's make it bigger. We have uh, 10 seconds, so it's kind of difficult, okay? So 10 second gap is a lot to deal with. Like if the items are the same time, like, or like two or three seconds, you have the chance to get one item or, or the other one. Like if you are being sneaky, if you are him like going all the way to Mega or make some sound, you can go to Mega yourself, okay? But if it's 10 seconds and he's in control, he has all the time of the world to get over the bridge and then go for the mega. What you do then? Always be silent. If he, mega is gonna be now, uh, if he's gonna be now, okay, 50, all right? He's gonna take it and he's gonna rocket jump. What you do, even if you are lower stuck, challenge him, spam, make him lose time. Lose time, lose time, lose time. If he rocket jumps, you go away and you already earned yourself the window for the mega, okay? That's for Davy, for example, like you can do it from everywhere. What the opponent doesn't have that you have at the moment? If he has the items, you have the position, right? And the position can be so good, especially when you have abilities and you can also like hide and run away, right? So, spam, spam, try to not let, make him uh, rocket jump, and then you have a, a mega so easily. You just need to wait for the exact perfect moment because if the, if the enemy is not stupid, he's gonna know how to handle it. Same for the Mega, like, let's say Mega is now, okay, Mega is up, enemy is going for Mega. And Ev is gonna be in uh, 6, 7, 8 seconds, okay? What to do? You can't just let him take and just, he, he will go all the way and take the Heavy. Hold him up. Spam, rail, uh, even if you miss, doesn't matter at all. Spam. If you are here, spam, spam him, spam him, and then you drop like that, you know, and you go for heavy. But it's all about holding the enemy up and gave, getting yourself the window and the 
the window to take the other item. All right, that's it. Basically, that's all. All you need to do without uh, in out of control. The basic stuff to do is always take the maximum armor stack. So, for a light champion like me, 75. For a medium, is 100. And for a tank, is 125. And then you can already be able to fight. It's not that big of a deal, to be honest. I think out of control play it's much easier to do now. And that's it for the. That's it for the. For the heavy mega positioning out of control and all that stuff. Now let's talk about something that you like, you love. Okay, spawn forcing on DM6. So last time we saw that Awoken is really easy to do spawn forcing, but not easy to do spawn kills. Today we're gonna talk about how easy it is on this map. All right, so. If you haven't seen my Awoken video, by the way, I really suggest you to do, because I'm gonna also explain the same things on this map, but I suggest you to go over there, because the spawn forcing explanation is really, really good. So, as explained in the other video, the spawn on Quake doesn't depend on where your enemy died, alright? It doesn't depend on it. It depends on where you are standing on the map, okay? So if the enemy dies there, but you are there, doesn't matter at all. It will be this position forcing the other spawn, not that one, all right? So just imagine a circle around you, okay? And the closest you are to an item or to a uh, weapon, you will, for you will not make the other guy be able to spawn close to you. So you will deny this part of the map. Easiest one. If you are standing there, you are denying Mega at first. I'm gonna explain you why at first. So you're gonna deny this, this, shotgun, LG, rail, heavy, and the only spawn is gonna be this one. Where I'm aiming, you have one, two, three, four of these thingies. You aim there, rail. That's already a spawn kill if the enemy is not fast enough. And even if you like do one rail only, you can. If you are next, you can do this. You just like you go for the jump pad, press space, and bait him out. Then another rail, boom, dead. But you're gonna say, "Wow, I can do it for 10 minutes in a row." Wow, oh my god, I'm gonna win 25-0. Okay, no, cause you can do this only one every few seconds. Like, do 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 do, boom. If you try again. No, it won't happen. It won't spawn there anymore, all right? So this is to prevent spawn killing at a very crazy uh, situation. So what is gonna happen after this? You get the kill. The second spawn, 100%, is gonna be there on Mega. Okay? So with this spawn, you're gonna force this and this easily. All right? If you are spawning, if you are standing there, you're gonna force the spawn on rocket, heavy, or nail. So you can only prevent this side of the map, for example. But if you are standing there already, you are denying rocket, you are denying rail, you are denying LG, mega, all the pillars. And the only spawn will be this one. Boom. 100% this one. Boom. And if you manage to kill him, he's gonna spawn, I think, or there, or I think he's gonna spawn up on rocket or somewhere else. So you won't be able to do it twice, okay? But it's really easy way to it. That's it, okay? Um, yeah, so. These two are the easiest spawn kills, I think, in the game, actually. So easy to spawn kill. Even if you don't manage to do a direct spawn kill, like, if you do this already, it's gonna have be low for another rail. So, it's really easy to do. So, if you're there, you're forcing mega spawn or this spawn again on the stairs. If you're standing on heavy, he can spawn basically everywhere. He can spawn on mega, he can spawn on LG, he can spawn on rocket, okay? So everywhere. 
if you're standing there, it's gonna spawn on the on that thing again. There. If you're standing above there, like where I just told you, there, it's gonna spawn still there, but you won't have an angle anymore. And if you're standing there, it's gonna spawn on Nagan and uh, that's it so on the other side of the map. So really easy to do. And remember that uh, you need to be quick and you need to do it before the enemy presses respawn. So if you kill him there and the enemy is like spamming a respawn button and you're there while you are doing it, like you're running for this, and he press respawn there, it's gonna spawn Omega. Like it's not gonna it's you are way too close to this area. Okay. If you're standing there, otherwise easy. Do -do 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 Boom. Right. That's it for the spawn forcing. Really easy to do. Not many worries to be honest. It's really easy on this map, even if it's as big. There are just a few spawns to take care of. And yeah, since the the last video had like tricks at the end for the uh, as the ending of the f of the video, instead uh, I did, I won't do on this map because I already show you previously. So yeah, we talked about basically everything. We talked about rain angles. We talked about um, positioning. Heavy mega out of control, spawn forcing, starting spawn, uh, auto attack mega, how to defend mega, how to attack uh, heavy, how to defend heavy. So yeah, for that, th this video is, that's it. Remember that I'm offering personal coaching on your personal gameplay, on your uh, rating, on your uh, VODs. So if you want to, you can get me as your coach. Uh, of course it has a... Uh, a prize but we can talk about it in discord and I'm gonna give you my discord below if you want to improve I already have been coaching like 15 to 20 people and they have been improving don't want don't want to say that to I mean uh, grew my ego but th just that think that uh, people like the way I explain thing and since I am also a new guy that has managed to break through the old pros barrier Maybe it's some motivation for other players that wants to do the same as me. So, thank you for watching the video as always. Remember to subscribe to enable the notification so you will see when I'm gonna go live on uh, when I'm gonna post a video. And thank you so much for all the support on the last video. We are over 1,000 views. Amazing result for me. I'm really really grateful, and I hope I can bring some more quick content for you. So. Have a beautiful day and bye-bye, guys.